Pro Group Management. Workers' Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good evening and thank you for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Renee Summerauer. CCSD has reached a tentative collective bargaining agreement for education support employees. That leads your top story, sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The agreement includes a salary increase of 8.65% during the first year and 2% during the second year. The agreement also calls for a $15 per hour minimum pay for all support professional jobs. This comes as CCSD continues to try to hammer out a deal with teachers. Las Vegas could spend up to $1.5 million litigating the Badlands case this year. The Las Vegas City Council will consider whether to allocate the money to outside law firms representing the city and its ongoing legal battle with the would-be developer. The city has spent just over $5.5 million for attorneys, consultants and city staff, with the majority of the funds going to third-party law firms. Four lawsuits are in various stages of litigation over the Badlands. A boat ramp at Lake Mead has shut down due to low water levels. Boulder Harbor on the western side of the reservoir will now be converted into a walking trail and renamed the Boulder Harbor Walking Trail. The area has seen significant water level drops over the last two decades. And fire crews have expanded containment on the growing York fire and monsoon rain is helping. According to federal authorities, the fire has spread to more than 82,000 acres, but firefighters have reached 30 percent containment. More than 8,000 acres of the fire is in Clark County and it has crossed into the Aviquame National Monument. Slain Las Vegas Review Journal investigative reporter Jeff Gehrman has been honored with another prestigious journalism award. Gehrman and Washington Post reporter Lizzie Johnson are the 2023 recipients of the National Press Club's President's Award. Gehrman had left behind unfinished work when he was stabbed to death in September. Johnson worked with the Review Journal to finish one of Gehrman's stories about an alleged Ponzi scheme. In your weather report, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. After the storms of yesterday, we're looking at clear skies tonight. Evening lows will be around 81 degrees with light winds. For the rest of the week, winds will increase Thursday as well as temperatures. Sunny and clear with daytime highs ranging in the low 100s until the weekend. Clear skies for your evenings with lows staying in the low 80s. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, an application for an inner city passenger rail grant was approved by the Clark County Commission. The grant could approve up to $3.75 billion to establish the rail service, which is planned to be built along Interstate 15. The approval comes a month after it was determined that the project would cause no significant environmental impacts. Operation is expected to begin in 2027. The World Market Center opened its doors for tens of thousands of industry insiders from over 70 countries for the Las Vegas Summer Market, showing off the latest styles and products in furniture, decor and gifts. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more on what's trending. Renee, we're getting to see what's uh, trendy here on the Hooker Furnishing Showcase room. Uh, we got to also get a first hand look at the forecast of the future of trends, which is a combination of community, fantasy, and reality. Exhibitors at the biannual event organized by Ann Moore show off some of the latest trends, among them winning the People's Choice Award at the event. Winning in the furniture category is a mahogany carved bar cabinet made by Virginia-based Hooker Furnishings. And the winning product in the temporary gift category was the Maleg House of Miniatures, a mini toy house made by Maleg, a Danish children's toy company. Now, the next opportunity that businesses will have to get a shot in Las Vegas will be at the Winter Market next year on January 28th. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. Sports brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. It was easy to lose track of how many combinations the Raiders offensive line went through last season. But this year, the team is starting out with some familiarity. The offensive line that helped produce the league's best rusher last year returned all five starters, including right tackle Jermaine Illuminor. This is the first training camp of my career I've been able to come in as a starter. Um, but then, you know, that adds more pressure. You know, you got to be in, like, in this camp. It's more about solidifying my spot than it is earning it. But then also, you know, we have talented guys in the room. It's more about, you know, improving every day myself. 
In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Henderson residents will have a new emergency health treatment center by next summer. Review Journal's Rosanna Romero gives us the details. The center will be called the ER at Cadence and it will serve as an emergency health center on the 800 East Block of Lake Mead Parkway near Boulder Highway. So Henderson is a huge community. I mean, it's almost 360,000 residents, and they're lacking of health care. Uh, they had another hospital that closed a few years ago. This center will be part of the Henderson Hospital, but it will be a freestanding building located about five miles from the Henderson Hospital. The services we have, staffing it with doctors 24-7, CAT scan, pharmacy lab, that's not something you see in an urgent care. Mm -hmm. So this is a much higher level of service. They will be open 24 hours, 7 days a week. Tomorrow morning on 7 at 7 in Espanol, I will tell you more about the services that they will offer. Rene, back to you. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The PGA Tour wraps up its regular season this week with the Wyndham Championship in North Carolina as players try to secure their spot in the FedEx Cup playoffs. Hideki Matsuyama and Russell Henley are the 18-1 co-favorites at Caesars Sportsbook to win the tournament, followed by Sun Im and Si Woo Kim at 22-1. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. After years of anticipation by local fans, Zippy's is finally opening in Las Vegas. The beloved restaurant and bakery is opening at 10, 10 a.m. on October 10th at 7095 Verdura Avenue. The Vegas Zippy's location will be the first one to open outside of Hawaii. For hiring events and grand opening info, visit zippies.com backslash Las Vegas. And what if you could see the sphere from a bird's eye view? Well, you're in luck. Take a look at our photos and video of the sphere taken by drone that shows off the venue's massive 580,000 square foot exterior LED screen. A Review Journal photographer recorded the sphere displaying a giant eyeball, the earth, the bottom of a pirate ship covered sea, and more dazzling designs. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 p.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you here tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.